Oklahoma State will try to win its third consecutive NCAA men's cross country title next Monday. Cowboys coach Dave Smith has put together a program that has become one of the best in the nation. Once again, Oklahoma State is in championship mode as the Cowboys have won the Big 12 title and placed first in last week's Midwest Regional. Cross country is different than every other sport in that the regular season, for the most part, doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, there's certain at-large qualification for the national championships that is based on how you do in the regular season. But for the most part, if you run well at the Big 12, the regionals, the nationals, that's all that really counts. There's more to training for cross country than covering a long distance in the shortest time possible. Well, that's part of it. Um, the guys are probably running anywhere from 80 to 120 miles a week. Some pretty high intensity in some of that training too. Not all the time. I mean, some days just go out and run and run long. It's an 8K race at the Big 12 level and a 10K race at the national championship level. So, you know, they're not short races. And, and the only way to get ready for that is, is to run long. Oklahoma State had just three regular season meets, and Smith says that scheduling is geared to make sure his runners are strong at the end of the year. The training of his student athletes also involves monitoring the pounding and stress placed on their feet and legs. We have to keep a really close eye on that, and, and I think we're really conservative as a staff. My view is very conservative. If I have a guy who's feeling a little dinged up or feels like something coming on, we, we'll have that guy take a day or two off or go to the pool and swim instead. Um, I, you know, I always feel like a day off now is better than a week off later or a month off even later. Oklahoma State will try to become the first school since Arkansas in 2000 to win three consecutive men's cross country titles. Winning back to back titles was a challenge, but the recruiting benefits have been huge. I think it's tough because when you win the first, after you win the first one, um, you get that big target on your back and it's, um, you got every gunning for you, you can't uh, sneak up on people anymore. And even, even more difficult, I think, is the internal pressure and expectation that comes from the coaching staff and the athletes, you know, wanting to win and feeling like they have to win again, um, makes it more difficult the second time around. The kids we're recruiting right now who are juniors and seniors, um, we've been the national champions two of the three or four years they've been in school and are ranked number one again. So their whole high school memory is of Oklahoma State being the best team in the country, and that helps us a lot. We call up, we have instant credibility, they know what our program means, they know that if they come here they're going to be fighting for national championships, and that's attractive to a lot of kids.